Hello friends we have add one more part in Ajax Laravel CRUD application, because after publish last tutorial on how to delete data using Ajax in Laravel. Then many viewers has request us to add one more topic like how to delete multiple MySQL table data by using checkbox with Ajax in Laravel. So we have make this tutorial and here we have cover how to delete multiple rows using checkbox and Ajax in Laravel. Because if there is lots of data you want to delete in a single click then you have to use this type of multiple selection of checkbox and in single click we can delete mass data by using Ajax in Laravel. Now we have start discussing this topic and here first we want to add new table column for checkbox and remove button. So we have go to Ajax data dot blade view file and here we have add one table column in student table. Here we have write button tag with attribute name is equal to bulk delete and it is equal to bulk delete. We will use this as selector in query code. Now we have go to Ajax data controller get data method, because this method has load data from student table to data tables with edit and delete button. So here we have to add one more column, so here we have write add column method with two argument. In first argument we have write column name checkbox and in second argument we have write input type is equal to checkbox with name student checkbox and array. In class attribute we have write class is equal to student checkbox and value attribute is equal to double curly bracket and between them we have write dollar at variable. This code will add one more column with data in student table and it will make dynamic checkbox in each row of student data. Here we will use student checkbox class as selector and we will get particular studented from value of this checkbox. Now we have go to ajax.blade.php view file and in data tables method we have write data key with value checkbox which is name of column which we have added in data tables. Friends here we can see student data in three column. Now we have refresh page and now we can see fourth table column. In fourth table column heading we can see button, by clicking on this button we can remove multiple selected checkbox student data. But in table column we cannot see checkbox we can see HTML code of dynamic generated checkbox. So we have go to Ajax data controller and here we have add one more method like row columns with attribute like checkbox and action in array format. Here checkbox and action is name of column which we have add into data tables, and raw columns method will convert HTML code for display purpose. So here we have just refresh page and now we can see checkbox instead of HTML code of checkbox. Now we have go to Ajax data.blade.php view file and here we want to write query code when we have click on bulk delete button. So here we have write dollar with document selector with on method and under this we have write click event with button at bulk delete. So when we have click on button then this code will execute. Under this first we have write it variable is equal to blank array, under this variable we will store student id value in array format. 
Below this we have write if statement and under condition we have write confirm statement with message like are you sure you want to delete this data. This message will pop in browser with OK and cancel button when we have click on OK button then it will execute block and suppose we have click on cancel button then no action will be taken. Suppose we have click on OK button then it will execute if block of code and under this we have write dollar with checkbox class student checkbox double colon checked with each method. By using each method we can fetch each checkbox value which are checked and that value we will store under it variable. So here we have write it variable dot push method and under this we have write dollar this selector with value method. This code will fetch value from check checkbox and store that value into it variable in array format. After this we have write if statement and under condition we have write it variable dot length value is greater than zero, if this value is zero then it will return true otherwise it will return false. Suppose this condition return false then it will execute else block of code and under this block we have write alert statement with message like please select at least one checkbox. But suppose this condition return true then it will execute if block of code under this block we have start write ajax request. In ajax request first we have write url option set to double curly bracket and between them we have write root method with ajax data controller dot mass remove method. Here we have send request to mass remove method of ajax data controller. In second option we have write method option and here we have use get method for send data to server. In third option we have write data and in this option we can define which data we want send to server, so here we have write it variable. Lastly we have write success callback function and this function has been called if request completed successfully. Under this function we have write alert statement and under this we have write data variable, it will pop message which it will receive from server side. And below it we have write dollar with table it student table with data table method with ajax dot reload method, this code will reload data in data tables without refresh of web page. Now we have go to Ajax data controller and here we have create mass remove method with request as argument. This method will receive Ajax request for mass data remove and by using this dollar request argument we can get value of it variable which we have pass in Ajax. Under this method we have write dollar student it array variable is equal to dollar request variable with input method and under this method we have write it variable name. This code will get value of it variable which we have pass in Ajax and store into student it array variable. In this variable we have store student it in array format. After this we have write dollar student variable is equal to student modal class object student with where in method with to argument. In first argument we have write student table primary key id and in second argument we have write dollar student id array variable. Here we have use where in method and this method will add where in clause in query for multiple data remove. After this we have write if statement and under condition we have write dollar student variable with delete method. This delete method will make delete query and execute with where in clause for remove multiple data in single query execution and it will return true. 
so it will execute if block of code and under this we have write echo statement with message like data deleted this message will be pop in browser. Now we want to set root for mass remove method, so we have go to web.php file. Under this file we have write root class with get method with two argument. In first argument we have write ajax data slash mass remove method and in second argument we have write ajax controller at mass remove method. After this we have write name method for ajax url option and here we have write ajax data dot mass remove method. So this way we have set root for ajax controller mass remove method for remove multiple data in single click. Here our code is ready for delete multiple data by checkbox and ajax in laravel, so we have saved this code and check output in browser. Friends first we have refresh the browser and click on bulk delete button, then we have received pop message box with ok and cancel button. So we have click on cancel button, after clicking on cancel button then no action has been taken. After this we have again click on mass delete button. And now we have click on OK button, after clicking on OK button we have received message like please select at least one checkbox. So now we have select first three rows checkbox and click on mass delete button. Now we have click on OK button and after clicking on OK button we have received data deleted pop up message on web browser. So this way we can delete multiple data in single click by using checkbox with Ajax in Laravel without refresh of web page. This type of feature we can use if we want to remove multiple data in single click. If you have any query regarding this video tutorial part, please comment your query in comment box and if you like this video tutorial please share with your friends or even you can also share on social media also. If you want to get more update regarding our video tutorial, please subscribe our YouTube channel for get more update regarding release of future video. Lastly keep watching our YouTube channel. Thanks for watching this video tutorial.